Hi, Yarnabies. So I'm in my van. I'm sitting here waiting to go in to see the specialist and I thought I'd do an update. I've had a few people ask me how, oops, sorry, how things are going. God, I'm a mess. <clears throat> um, I haven't done a, uh, an update with you guys on my health stuff, so I figured I better do that. So, um, sorry about the noise in the background. There's a construction crew here. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm here to see a heart specialist. I uh, don't know why, because I don't think there's anything wrong with my heart, but my doctor wanted it, so I guess that's why I'm here. Um, I got my results back from the sleep apnea test bit of a shocker um, I have sleep apnea and apparently I stopped breathing 18 times an hour who knew <laughs> I, I had no idea <clears throat> honest to God I had no idea I said to my doctor I said I don't have sleep apnea what are you doing apparently I do so um, weight loss is a big thing now uh, the doctor's also sending me to a doctor who is a weight loss specialist um, that is next week no I can't remember when my appointment is I got it written down but anyway so hopefully that goes well um, what else uh, oh my finger <laughs> my finger yeah, you guys probably saw the um, the picture. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I can't use my other finger, but or my other hand. Anyways, um, you remember how I was saying that my I thought maybe I had trigger finger or something like that. I'm not sure what's going on, but there's a bump. Uh, now you can't really tell. Uh, there's a big bump on my finger <clears throat> and uh, I think it was somebody on my Facebook pay, Facebook crochet a on my Facebook said that she has something like that and it's a tendon popping out and I thought yeah that could be because it hurts like a mother uh, I was having a really hard time crocheting it took me all day to do two rows like a, I'm doing a pocket shawl and I did 150 stitches and it took me all day just to do two rows so yeah I'm not very happy um, but what are you gonna do right uh, so yeah I don't know I, I don't know if there's anything they can do about that um, I guess I just have to put ice on it or something and Hope for the best so but anyways um i'm gonna go now because i've got to go in they got a whole bunch of regulations here i have to phone them and then they have to come out and get me and i have to sanitize and all this other stuff so um yeah so i will let you guys know how this goes i'll be back in shortly hi yarn to bees i'm back Ah, back at home, took the dog for a walk, and contemplated. <laughs> contemplated what? Well, my heart specialist said my heart is fine. Everything's fine. He went through all of my test results with me. Everything looks great. My heart is beating like a drum. Uh, and all of my other test results were clear. He actually went through, he's a heart specialist and he actually went through all of my test results with me, which my doctor didn't even do. He says, everything is great. So what's wrong with me? Other than having sleep apnea, nothing. Uh, I have arthritis in my hands. I don't know what this the issue is right here. I'm just going to, see if I could see right there yeah I don't know I don't know there's something going on in there but anyway um <clears throat> so he says 
that my exhaustion and my heart palpitations and all the things that I've been feeling is because of the sleep apnea. Yay. <clears throat> he said that I'm going to have to really think about what I want to do with this. Uh, <clears throat> he says doing the CPAP is not an easy thing, especially if you have claustrophobia, which I do. Um, he even admitted he didn't think that he could do it, but <clears throat> he says something, you know, I have to really consider it. And at $2,000 for a CPAP machine to see if it's going to work, I don't think I could do it. Uh, they will test me with a CPAP to see if it does help, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. He said that definitely losing some weight would, would help a bit, but it's not going to cure it. Um, all of you out there that have sleep apnea, that have the CPAP and all of that will probably understand all this. But <clears throat> he basically said uh, that, yeah, I, I don't know. He just He just said that basically it's all because of that. Um, all the symptoms I'm having. And I'm like, okay. So I have to really think about this. Um, my doctor was talking about a mandible, something, something, something mandible thing. It's like a mouthpiece that goes in and helps you, keeps your mouth open a little bit and helps you. But I've heard heard bad things about that because you drool all over the place and you make a mess and people don't like it. So, um, so I don't know. I'll have to see, try and figure something out. I am going to go, what is today? Today's Tuesday, Friday. I think it is the ninth. I'm going to be getting a doctor. Or I'm going to be getting a phone call from the weight loss doctor specialist guy and talk to him about things. See what he has to say. Um, yeah. But other than that, I don't know. Not much else to say about it. Uh, my hands in a lot of pain. Crocheting hurts, which really is depressing. But I'm muddling through I'm I'm the type of person that you know I'm just going to muddle through the pain because doing like crocheting is what's keeping me sane um so I'm not going to stop nope <laughs> if it hurts it hurts I whatever <clears throat> but he also said that there's different things that will help with the sleep apnea too. He says, I may have good weeks. I may have bad weeks. It's just that when all that stuff happened, it was a bad week. Um, cause I haven't had any symptoms since, uh, since I did all the testing and everything. So he said that it's probably going to just flux, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to know when, uh, I'm having an episode or whatever. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. But, um, yeah, so I don't have anything to show you. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, something that I think will make me feel a little bit better. I went to, there's a shop down at the waterfront that's closing down, which is so sad. It's called the Tea Port. And it's obviously, it's a tea shop. But it's also like you buy mugs there and teapots and everything. And uh, I went in there. I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're closing. That's so sad. So I got some stuff and I thought, you know, to make me feel a little bit better, maybe I'll do a giveaway. So I got some tea. Uh, oh, I don't have my glasses on. Um, I got one tea. It's called Orange Blossom. Okay. And it's the cup, <laughs> cup characteristics. 
It is wildly exotic, toasty roundness with fruity jasmine notes. The ingredients is black tea, green tea, oolong tea, jasmine tea, natural flavors. Well, it's pretty much got all the teas in it. <laughs> the tea is from Sri Lanka, India, and China. Antioxidant level is high. Caffeine content is medium. Um, <clears throat> blended and packaged in Canada. So you can see right here. Nanaimo, BC. So I got that one. And then I got uh, Indian Spiced Tea. This one I might keep for myself. I'm not sure. Cup. Oh, oh. there you go. Um, cup characteristics is superb body with mellow Indian flavor, spiced notes. Creates a sensory trip to the subcontinent. Okay. <laughs> uh, ingredients. Black tea, coriander, cumin. Love cumin. Sweet fennel, cinnamon. Love cinnamon. Cardamom, curry. Curry, really? and lemongrass leaves. Interesting. Teas from Sri Lanka. Antioxidant level is high. Caffeine content medium. So that's interesting. Uh, what else have I got here? Hibiscus green. This one is uh, tart hibiscus is softened by peachy notes, uh, positively overflowing with goodness, perfect tea. Ingredients, green tea, hibiscus, osmethanvis, I don't know, uh, and cal caladula petals. Calendial, calendial petals. There we go. Uh, organic. It's from China and Egypt. Antioxidant levels high. Content, uh, content, <laughs> caffeine content is low. Hmm. Okay. And then I got the Long Island strawberry. Okay, this one is cup characteristics, very refreshing and reflective. Uh, lush ripe strawberry notes filled with uh, filled the cup, leading to an astringent finish. Ingredients: green tea, papaya, strawberry pieces, natural flavors. That sounds good. Teas from China. Antioxidant level high. Caffeine level low. So those are the four teas I got. And then I got these. These little men. And what you do is you put your tea in it and then you put his arms over the back of your teacup. And he sits in there like he's in the hot tub. <laughs> so I got four of those. I got two green ones and a pink one and a yellow one. Are they cute though? I thought they were just adorable. So I'm going to keep one of those for myself too. And then I got a gift for somebody. So I can't show it. But you all know her. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm thinking that I'm going to pick one of these teas and uh, one of the little men, and I'm going to use it as a giveaway. So in the comments, put down tea, <laughs> T-E-A, <laughs> uh, if you want to be a part of the, the, uh, the giveaway. And if you prefer, oh... If you prefer green tea, black tea, I think this one's black tea. Do, 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 do. No, green tea 
or um, chai tea. Black tea, green tea, or chai tea? There we go. Uh, the, for the winner, let me know. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, let's just have a little giveaway. I'm going to have some more too. Actually, maybe I'll put in one of these, these uh, Sashka bracelets in with it. You know, I just want a little pick-me-up. I want to have some fun. I haven't done a giveaway in a little while, so what the heck? <laughs> okay anyways that's all i have to say it's all i that's all i have for you right now uh oh guess what both my daughters ashley and tia are coming out to visit me tia just left and she's coming back uh she's bringing her sister with her in november georgia's birthday is on november 12th then we have the craft fair on November 14th and 15th, and then they're coming out around the 16th. So I'm so happy. <laughs> so I'm going to have both my kids here. Videoing is going to be interesting. I don't think I've actually done a video with both my girls in it. Have I? I don't know. It could be really bad. Maybe I won't do it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, that's all I have to tell you right now. And uh, I'll come back on in a few days and show you some stuff that I maybe finished. And uh, yeah, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.